Hello guys, today I want to tell you what to do if you have repeating eloquent conditions. So in some page or part of the pages or different pages, you have the same where condition. So where something and it is repeating throughout several places in your code. So how to avoid that duplication and I will tell you about eloquent scopes and I will show you two examples how to create that scope. So imagine a scenario, you have a page for posts, something like Reddit or some forum and you have recent posts and you have popular posts and those are different queries but they have one common condition in the code in the controller you have recent posts and popular posts different ordering so latest means order by created at descending or updated at i don't remember basically timestamp and this ordering is for views count, so popular post. But there's one common condition, post where the post is created within 14 days. And this part is repeating. And in such projects, it's likely that you care about latest posts in more than one page, not only homepage, but within some kind of community, maybe on some dashboard for reports, something like that. So you care about the newest records. So instead of repeating that where, you can refactor that into model scope. So we open model post and do public function scope and then you can come up with whatever name. So post it within 14 days for example. The parameter is query and then you return the modified query. So query something and we copy and paste or in fact cut and paste that where condition into here. And now we can use that method, the part that comes after scope, like this. Just with the first letter lowercase, I think that is the syntax. And then we can copy this and reuse like this. So then your controllers get shorter, but that's not the only advantage. I will show you another advantage in a minute. For now, let's test if it works. Let's reload our home page. And as you can see, nothing changed. So the query comes from the scope. And the scope can be flexible, it may have parameters. So for example, in that scope, we add days equals 14 by default, and then have that as a parameter, then delete that days. And now we have scope posted within days, and this is a parameter. And then in the controller, we change this to 14. But for example, in here, you can add 30 days. So then it's the same scope, so the same logical condition, but parameterized. I'm not sure if it's a word, but anyway. So you can refactor repeating logical condition, but with parameter. Let's try it out. Refresh. So we have 14 days post here. But here, as you can see, there's post number 3, which is older in my database. I have this, so post number 3 is more than 14 days older. It's within 30 days. So it is not included in this query result, but it is included in the popular post. So these are called local scopes. There are two kinds of scopes in Laravel, local scopes and global scopes. So in this video, I wanted to show you local scopes to avoid repeating the same or very similar queries throughout your application. If you want to read about global scopes, go into Laravel documentation. I found it here in query scopes and I will link that in the description of this video. Also, you may want to find more about Eloquent, so you may check out my course, Eloquent Expert Level. It's the most popular course on my Teachable, so I will link that in the description as well, and scopes are also included in that course. And that's it for now. See you guys in other videos.